Hey everyone, I'm Sid and I'm a fourth year medical student at King's College London. Today I created a video that explains an easy way to annotate PDFs such as lectures or digital books on the Mac and iPad. I hope you enjoy. So this is a video on how to create some um, space on a PDF. So you can use this for lectures or digital textbooks. So I've just opened up this lecture that I made for teaching sessions with my friends on heart failure. If you go to the second slide, you can see that this is the management of heart failure and there isn't much space to annotate. So what we're gonna do is go to file and then print. So you can also do a uh, command P to get to that. And all we have to do now is deselect auto rotate. And that opens up all the space above and below the slide. So instead of clicking print, we're gonna to go to the bottom left and save this as a PDF. So now I'm just gonna retype uh, the title as heart failure dash annotation and save it to my desktop. So we'll close this up and open up the other file. And like I said before, you can see all the space that's been created above and below the slide now. So now we're on the second page and this is, like I said before, the management of heart failure. So if I wanna annotate this, I go to tools, annotate, and then select text. So that drops a bit of text there. And then you can type in what you want. So you can talk about the definition of heart failure, talk about the signs and symptoms of heart failure. Uh, you can talk about how to diagnose heart failure, and then you can get onto management, which is what's written here. And then you can move the text around as you'd like, and you can apply this to pretty much every page on here. So now let's try this with a textbook. So I know that you can find the ninth edition of the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine online. So you just type in Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine and follow that up with Academia. And I'll leave a link um, in the description below so that you can all access this. And this gets you to the ninth edition of this um, handbook. So now all I'll do is click download PDF and I'll skip um, sending feedback about why I downloaded this. And I'll move the PDF to my desktop and I'll open it up now. So this is quite a big document, so around 923 pages, but it's quite a packed handbook. So there's not much space to annotate. The most you could probably do is highlight this. So I've gone to page 29 and this is a bit about lymphadenopathy. And we're going to do the same as before and go to file, command P, so print. And this time we're not going to click on auto rotate. All we're gonna do is change the orientation. So I'm gonna to get to that in a second. And there, so I've clicked um, the orientation and by changing the orientation, we've opened up some space on the left and right of the textbook for us to make notes and uh, annotate it as we'd like. Again, we're gonna save it as a PDF. So that's by clicking the bottom left. And I'm gonna save this as OHCM-annotate. So this uh, will take a bit longer just because it's a larger file. So like I said, 923 pages. Um, but you can pretty much do uh, this trick with any lecture, any digital textbook you have. And I think the amount of space that it opens up helps so much. So now let's close this up and we're gonna open the annotation version. And let's scroll back down to the 29th page, um, which was on lymphadenopathy and take a look at it. So there's all the space on the left and right. And now we're gonna go to tools, annotate and text. And now we're gonna drop a bit of text. And now you can talk about lymphadenopathy as much as you'd like. and. With this, you can move the text around to another file, or you can sort of have this as a single file that's a textbook and a notebook in one. So it really depends on how you want to use it. And you can also play with the colors, change up the sizes as you'd like. But um, that's all for now on the Mac. So now let's move on to the iPad. Um, 
the app that I'm going to use right now is Notability, but you can also do this on Microsoft OneNote, which is free. So I'm going to click on the top right uh, to import my files, and I'm going to drag in the uh, heart failure annotation file, and I'm going to create this as a new note, and then select import. So just like before, we've got all the space above and below the lecture slides to annotate, and I'm just going to do um, a bit about define and then signs and symptoms. And then you can add in investigations and management as well. My handwriting is actually shocking. And then you can scale the notes as you'd like make them bigger or smaller and move them around, which is the advantage of uh, the iPad compared to ha handwritten notes on paper. And then we're going to try this again with the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. So this is a bigger file and this is an extremely useful file for um, medical students, I think. And we're going to get down uh, to page 29 on lymphadenopathy again and create some notes next to it. And here we are. So I'm just going to write up some of the causes of lymphadenopathy. So here we are, causes, and then I'll write about reactive and infiltrative. So you can select that, make it smaller. You can even change um, the color of the notes. So for example, if I want to change causes to red so that it stands out, select it, style, and then make it red. So this is a huge advantage um, of using the iPad compared to using um, handwritten notes, I feel. And ultimately, you'll have a file that has uh, your notes and the textbook in one. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this useful, please do subscribe. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. Or if you would like to get in contact with me directly, you can do so by messaging me on Instagram at the Worldwide Medic. And I'm always happy to have a chat. Thanks for watching again. Bye.